Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a quick disintegrating glitch text effect. So you might see a lot of twitchy, glitchy text effects that are done in After Effects, but this is kind of a all in Premiere disintegrating text effect that kind of looks glitchy as well. So whatever project you're working on, head over to Title, New Title, and Create Your Default Still Title, and type out whatever you want your text to be. The typical glitchy, VCR type of text that I'm using here is called VCR OSD Mono. You can get it for free online if you Google it. So now I'm going to go to the title actions and center it just because I want my title centered by clicking the horizontal and vertical centering. And then I'll go to my project media bin and click and drag that new title onto my project timeline so it can appear. So now I have my text on top of whatever clips I'm working with. And in order to create a glitch disintegration effect of it, I'm going to go to the effects panel on the right hand side and we want to find the effect called wave warp. You should find it in the distort folder of the video effects folder. So I'll click and drag this onto the title text and we're going to create a few keyframes to animate it to disintegrate away. So first of all, you can see that it already kind of looks cool just by default. So there's lots of experimenting that you can do in this menu. But if we head over to the wave type, you can actually change it to do different types of waves. And if you see this one called noise, it's actually a pretty glitchy effect. You can see it automatically looks like there's a bunch of noise hitting the text. But what you can do is actually separate the wave height and width to split things up a bit. And you can already see where I'm going with this. But if I increase the wave width a little bit, we'll spread out those noise so they're not so compact and it looks a little bit more particle-y. And then we'll go to the point in the timeline where we want the text to disintegrate away, and we'll start at a wave height of zero, which means the text is all compact and put together like normal right now. But we'll click this stopwatch icon to animate the text. That'll create a keyframe here at zero, and then we'll move over a couple frames, maybe a half a second or a second, however long you want your disintegration to take, and move the wave height way up so that the text is pretty much destroyed into particles. Also, when you're doing this, you want to create another set of keyframes. So let's go back to that first keyframe we set. Let's have the opacity start at 100% and then make the opacity go to zero by the time that disintegration is over. So we'll pull that down to zero. So now what we have when we play that back is a disappearing and disintegrating text effect that also is animating. If you wanted it to fade in, as well, you could just do the same thing except reverse these keyframes. So you just start out at 0% opacity with a really high wave height, either negative or positive, doesn't matter, and then move into 100% opacity and a 0% wave height. And that would make it disintegrate inwards. So there we have a disintegrating in and then disintegrating out text effect. So that's just one way that you can use this wave warp feature. There's tons of different ways you can experiment with keyframes and different types of waves to create all type of glitch effects right within Premiere Pro. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, then make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new future videos and follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that if you want to reach out to me, show me an example of something or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.